Exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. You know, I'm going to be the most unpopular person. One to three inches of snow in certain locations across our viewing area. A winter weather advisory. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to apologize right now. <laughs> One to three inches. So we've got Monroe, Appanoose, Putnam, Sullivan County. Milan, one to three inches of snow is possible for tonight. It's 1 a.m. to 1 p.m. Otherwise, for the folks not in the winter weather advisory, up to a half inch of snow. I'm really sorry about this. Let's take a look at the regional satellite radar. Again, we did have some light rain showers move through late last night, early today, and that's going to continue. But again, I've been saying the temperature is making the difference. And actually, we're going to see colder temperatures for tonight. Look at the, at the snow and a little bit of a rain-snow mix already moving into the western portions of our viewing area. The only thing I can say is just be glad we're not in Des Moines or into Nebraska. That's where they got a lot of snow, several inches, in fact. 37 degrees right now at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are brisk out of the north, 18 miles per hour. Dew point 35, relative humidity levels 93%. A tumble coming in, chilly, 36 degrees. Uh, light rain showers, winds are out of the north, 24 miles per hour. Humidity levels 89%, dew point 33. Factor in those winds, and yes, it feels much colder out there. 24 is what it feels like in Ottumwa. Kirksville, 27. 27 in Centerville. Mount Pleasant coming in at 37 degrees. Overnight lows for tonight, much colder. This is why we are seeing that transition over to a rain-snow mix as well as snow. Temperatures dropping to about 33 degrees. North winds 15 to 20, gusts near 30 miles per hour. Future cast again, look at this snow that's continuing to push in, especially into the areas that are in the winter weather advisory. One to three inches, half inch possible elsewhere. We're going to continue with heavy rain as we're heading into tomorrow and into Friday, as well as into the weekend. This is around Saturday at 5 o'clock. Because of all of this rain that we're expected, still a good two, two and a half, possibly up to three inches, but a good two, two and a half for sure. Again, this is going through Saturday at five in the morning. We still have Sunday to deal with as well. For tomorrow, highs around 39 degrees or in the lower 40s. Winds are out of the north, 10 to 20, with gusts near 25 miles per hour. Community calendar event for tomorrow. Agency sales and tenderloins. That's going on at 125 West Wapalo Street in Agency, Iowa, 10 a.m. to 2, temperatures 35 degrees and rain showers. So if you're going out to that, you need to take your umbrella. 37 degrees for tomorrow night with rain likely. Northeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Extended forecast 50 degrees on Saturday. We are going to be warming things up. Uh, 40 degrees as your overnight low Saturday night. Sunday, 58 degrees, 65 on Monday. And into Tuesday, back up to 68 with another chance for some rain moving in. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. Well, things please. can change pretty quickly around here. <laughs> yes, I was going to say, please don't send the, the hate email to no, me. No, 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 I, no. I'm just a messenger. I'm yes. sorry. We'll I'm be, sorry. It's we'll May. Be it's beginning of May. Yes. Don't we know it? Yes. <laughs> I, I don't like it either. Okay. All right. Thanks, Teresa. We'll be right back. 